Have you ever looked up at the sky and wondered how those beautiful twinkling stars were formed? Friends, let us look at the life cycle of a low mass star. Well, there are different stars in the universe. They are categorized according to their mass, temperature, etc. In fact, our sun is a low mass star. So, what is a star? It is a beautiful glowing sphere of hot gas. Let's begin. All stars start as a nebula, which is nothing but clouds of gas and dust. It is in this nebula where stars are born. Now, gravity begins to pull these clouds of gas and dust together. The collision of gas molecules causes friction, making it glow. Thus, a protostar is born, a glowing spherical object, the earliest stage of a star's life. It continues to collect mass. Gravity pulls it to the core, and when it reaches a certain temperature, nuclear fusion takes place. It reaches a point where it stabilizes. Its core creates outward pressure which prevents the star from collapsing. This is when the protostar becomes a main sequence star. The longest part of the star's life. About 90% of stars in the universe are main sequence stars. Eventually, the main sequence star runs out of hydrogen. The force of gravity then overpowers the outward pressure, causing the star to collapse. The outer layer of the star, which is mostly hydrogen, starts to expand. As it expands, it cools and starts to go red. When the temperatures reach 200 million Kelvin, helium atoms fuse to form carbon in the core. However, the helium runs out quickly and the core collapses again. The pressure becomes so strong that the outer shell is blown away to form a ring around the core. This is the planetary nebula stage. The hot core of the star that is left behind cools and becomes a white dwarf, which is extremely dense. Once all of its energy is gone, it becomes a black dwarf. That, my friends, is the life cycle of a low mass star. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe.